Welcome to Ms. Mojo Glow, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Glee songs that should have been sung by other cast members. Number 10. My Lovin', You're Never Gonna Get It As graduation approaches for Tina and Artie, the two compete to be valedictorian and to be soloists at nationals. No, you're never gonna get it. Not this time. Never, never gonna get it. When they sing this song in front of the Glee Club, the new directions harmonize in the background, and we realize that this tune may be better done a cappella. With its repetitive taunting, the En Vogue track would seem more fitting to showcase a rivalry. Since the Dalton Academy Warblers are one of the New Direction's biggest adversaries, we could definitely envision them killing this number as they sing about wanting to defeat William McKinley's high school glee club. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Number 9. Wide Awake in this episode, the New Directions are tasked with choosing whether they identify more with Katy Perry or Lady Gaga. I'm wide awake, not losing any sleep. I picked up every piece and landed on my feet. While the group sings a beautifully simple version of the song, they don't do justice to the meaning behind it. Quinn's soft voice would have been more fitting for Wide Awake, and she could have done this while dealing with any of her many breakups on the show, or after she gave up Beth for adoption. Never can say goodbye. Number 8. Jolene Jolene, 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 Jolene we don't get to see Coach Beast singing very much on the show, and this performance of Jolene is definitely appropriate for the situation. Quinn or Rachel may have been better picks for this number, as their vocals would have been great for the Dolly Parton classic. Rachel could have sung this to express her jealousy of Quinn and Finn, or conversely, when Quinn was jealous of Finchel. And we especially wish we could have seen Quinn belt out a few more envy-induced solos. I don't wanna know the reasons why love keeps right on walking on down the line. Number 7. Mercy When Vocal Adrenaline performed this song early on in the show, we had no idea just how capable Santana was as a singer yet. Now that we know that she was one of the strongest female vocalists in the New Directions, we think Mercy would have been superb for her sultry, soprano pipes. And who could forget her iconic performance of Winehouse's Valerie? So there's no doubt she would have annihilated this song too. Number 6. Dance Again This steamy number seems to suit Cassandra July at first glance, but there's another dancing blonde that this number would have been perfect for, Britney S. Pierce. But since JLo was also a dancer turned singer, it stands to reason that the only Jennifer Lopez song to be featured on Glee should be covered by Britney. After Britney decides that going to MIT is not the right path for her, this song would have been a great way for her to express her desire to get back to her old skill of dance. You build me up, you break me down. Number 5. A Thousand Years while we can't deny that Marley and Jake's vocals are to die for in this love ballad, their romance was only starting to bloom when they sang this song about being infinitely in love. I've loved you for a thousand years. That's why this tune would have been a better duet for a couple whose love was seemingly endless, like Rachel and Finn. Mr. Shu never failed to notice that Finn and Rachel's voices meshed together perfectly, as was demonstrated in countless performances, and this song would have encompassed their feelings and commitment for one another. Even after Finn's tragic death, we still would have liked to see Rachel sing a song like this in dedication to him. I just can't stop loving you. Number 4. Oops, I Did It Again the second Britney Spears episode has many standout performances, but Rachel's attempt at showing she has sex appeal while performing Oops I Did It Again is not one of the best. While her vocals are on point as per usual, this song would have been better sung by Quinn Fabre. Not only would it suit her soft voice, but we can also see her singing it to make one of her male suitors jealous, or just to get their attention, like possibly Finn or even her snobby boyfriend Biff. Number 3. Super Bass Can you hear it? Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba bass. Sue Sylvester's confidence, attitude, and over-the-top theatrics are fitting for this bizarre performance, but this song would have been a better fit for the New Direction's biggest diva, Mercedes Jones. Put your light is in the air, everybody say yeah. 
All of the rap songs that are featured in the show are always improved by Mercedes' contributions. Sorry, Mr. Shu. We especially loved getting to see her R&B skills in season 5 when she and Santana sang their first duet since season 2, and we wish we could have seen her tackle Super Bass to show off how much of a diva she really is. Number 2. Chandelier We adored seeing the trio of New Directions ladies singing this Sia anthem, and Myron's performance dedicated to the music video was topped only by Spencer's iconic chandelier stunt. However, we think that this song would have been better slated for their coaches instead, Kurt and Rachel. By this time in season 6, it had been a while since we'd seen a duet between these two powerhouses. Forget your trouble. So we just can't help but think that their voices would have been completely fitting for this song. Number 1. Footloose Tonight I gotta cut loose, footloose. This fun performance, led by Sam, Artie, Joe, and the season 4 New Directions, is full of adorable dance moves and vocals, but we can't help but think that this song would have been perfect for Mike Chang, who was undeniably the best dancer in the New Directions. Mike might have been the most underrated character in Glee, but his dance moves were always jaw-dropping, and we discovered in season 3 that his singing voice is just as impressive. Boy, boy, crazy boy, stay loose, boy. Had this song been performed by Mike, it would have been the anthem for everything we love about him, and we know his rendition would have had everyone kicking off their Sunday shoes.